More on the cybersecurity issues, I'm joined by Robert Siciliano in Boston, Massachusetts. He is a security expert for Hotspot Shield, a malware protection software from Mac McAfee, one of the largest security technology companies. Um, well, Robert, you just heard what the president kind of outlined. It's just kind of broad strokes. Uh, is he hitting all the right notes? You know, uh, it's it's uh, we've heard this before, and it's necessary. Uh, the uh, attacks that have occurred over the past few years uh, are, are simply getting a lot worse. And as a result, uh, if the government doesn't step in and require corporations to uh, up the ante to include uh, significant budgets for information technology for security, then uh, it's going to keep getting worse. Uh, is this kind of a wake-up call, though? I mean, we saw Sony, we, we saw what happened yesterday, although there are some people, and I want to get your thoughts on this, who just see yesterday's incident as more kind of an embarrassment than really an attack, uh, some calling it cyber vandalism. But, but is this kind of a wake-up call? Do you think that people are getting more serious about this issue now? You know, we've had a, a lot of wake-up calls over the past year, and uh, the uh, recent hacks uh, are no exception. You know, when you have personal information leaked that's not just usernames and passwords and social security numbers and credit card numbers, but internal communications that ultimately damage relationships and people's uh, reputation and so forth, uh, you know, that, that affects them for the rest of their lives. So. Uh, you know, it, it, it is about time that Obama steps up to the plate and basically holds these corporations' feet to the fire and requires uh, strict legislation to uh, increase the security within. Robert, uh, talk to me about the distinction. You know, we keep hearing all these different phrases, cyber vandalism. Uh, we had somebody on our broadcast calling some of this stuff cyber graffiti, if you will, cyber terrorism. I guess there are different gradations. How do you break it down? Well, you know, unless somebody is actually physically harmed or hurt, uh, then I can't consider much of this terrorism in any way. Uh, certainly, uh, uh, graffiti and vandalism, uh, you know, you have um, criminals essentially that are making statements, uh, some uh, in behalf of terrorist organizations, others just to make a name for themselves, other for, others for ransomware and extortion. So there's a, there's a, a number of um, labels that you could put on it. Cyber war, I really can't call much of this cyber war. In the end, uh, many of the motivations are for fun and fame and also, of course, financial gain. Why do you think it took CENTCOM so long to pull the messages down yesterday? I mean, it was compromised for uh, what some consider a, a, a certain amount of time, about at least a half hour or so. Yeah, you know, it's also getting through to uh, organizations like um, YouTube, which is Google, and Twitter. Uh, you know, the, these companies are fielding a tremendous amount of uh, calls and emails on a daily basis. Uh, my guess is that um, uh, they, I mean, under an hour, I think, is pretty effective. I mean, try you yourself or anyone that you know to try to get in touch with Google or uh, Twitter and get anything done in under a week, for that matter. <laughs> so you're so, making a good uh, point. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, let me ask you this. You've been at this for a while. Um, have you seen a market change over time in terms of sophistication, in terms of types of attacks, uh, vandalism that's, that's going on? I mean, how has the landscape changed since when you first entered this business to where we are today? Well, you know, you've heard the term uh, hackers are more sophisticated than ever. It's been used and abused, but it's simply true. They're organized more than ever. And they're, they're more th today, more than anything, they're hacking humans. They're hacking human beings. They're hacking them via uh, phishing emails. They're sending off emails that look like they're coming from legitimate entities. And they've gotten really good at sending across communications that look like they're coming from internal communications, from coworkers, from legitimate entities. Uh, you know, gone are the days of scammer grammar. Uh, today's phishing emails are just so sophisticated that, you know, pretty much anybody can get caught. You know, rarely, if ever, am I clicking links in the body of emails. Uh, rarely, rarely am I, you know, if ever, responding with personal information. And, it, and it's the same with, with everybody. You know, you have to be very diligent today because uh, hackers, criminals are as diligent. You have to update your antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-phishing, a firewall. You have to have a, uh, a virtual private network installed to protect all your wireless networks. One of my clients, Hotspot Shield, of course, uh, that, that's an option. So, you know, today is one of those
those you know days where uh, with Obama you, you know talking about cybersecurity and uh, governments being hacked you know consumers need to pay attention and take control of their own personal security well Robert it's an issue that's certainly not going to go away I'm sure we're going to see more of you as the days and weeks progress uh, thanks so much for joining us from Boston appreciate it